Welcome to Fish and Hunt, I'm Dave Butfield. And I'm Bo Scott. This week we're in beautiful Port Stephens. Beautiful part of the world, Dave. Sure is. Uh, game fish. That's right. Uh, marlin compound behind us at the moment over the weekend. A lot of fish coming in, so I'm really excited. Uh, we're out tomorrow morning first thing. That's right. We've just seen some big marlin come in to get weighed. I think one was around 190 something some kilos. Some big fish coming in, Big yeah. fish. But I'm pretty excited because this man here, uh, he's been marlin fishing, but you haven't got a marlin yet. Never landed one, so that's why I'm so excited seeing all these fish come in. Yes. Hopefully tomorrow uh, my number will come up. I hope so too. Uh, we've got Louis coming out, Louis Lingle for Otto's Tackle World in Dremoyne. He's going to be skipper in our boat, but the only downside tomorrow, mate, it's going to be rough. It's blown about 25 to 30 knots. Yeah, the weather's not great, but uh, I think we have to brave it anyway and get out there. Using spin gear, a lot of hard work, no uh, harness, so it's back breaking work. But mate, I just want to get you a fish and we'll have a great day. I'm looking forward to it. We've got a lot of work to do, setting up some rigs and getting the boat ready, so uh, probably should get to it. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Trying to survive, barely getting by. Feels like a lifetime till payday. Come the weekend, I'm gone again. Fishing my cares away. So if I hook the big one, or I hook a small one, I'm hooked on fishing again I'm hooked on fishing again Marlin fishing is not just for the big boats you can catch marlin from any size boat but it all comes down to the weather conditions safety is the number one key Oh we're just about to head out and get our bait very important to have good quality bait our live bait uh, it is blowing at the moment, so we're just staying inside and then we're just going to shoot out probably about uh, probably about 10 to 15 nautical miles up the coast and get our slimy mackerels. So, uh, slimy is a great bait. They are um, great. Marlin love the slimies. Um, we're just going to use a light combo, whatever light combo you've got really. Uh, bait jig, six or seven or eight hooks on them. Uh, size of hook's important. Um, you'd agree with that, yeah, Lou? Yeah, you've got to really match the size of your hook to the slimies you're catching. A lot mm -hmm. of guys you see that they're not catching any and you're getting six at a time. We are using well, probably a number four is a good size around these sort of waters here, Sydney. And you don't well, you don't have to put bait on them either. So with the bait jig, sometimes if the fish are being a little bit fussy, you can. But most of the time, you put a nice big sinker on it. Make sure it stays vertical. If it starts to drift up or get pulled up with the current or with your drift, uh, it's not going to work. So make sure you've got a heavy enough sinker. It doesn't affect the fish. Um, and that's it. Pretty simple. Drop it down. Look on the sounder. Use your sounder to find the fish, and you should pull in a few slimies. On there, Bo? Yes, mate. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's uh, your slimy that we're after. Um, slimy mackerel is probably one of the prime baits, and Louie's got one in here. That's three, mate. Good work. Yeah, Won't take long, we'll have enough bait for our marlin. So. Best thing to do too with um, slime is they do have a slime on them, so don't try to handle them if you can. Try to handle as little as possible. Um, you usually get a, a little butter knot back of your knife and flick them off into the well. Uh, there's plenty here, but a little bit rocky and rolly today. It's not the best day for the weather, so anyway, we'll manage and uh, we'll get enough to last us for a while and then we'll do a slow troll uh, with some liveys or even drop one down, so we'll see how we go. It's a good start anyway, boys. And we've been in here for about a minute and we've got it nearly a boatload. Once you find the patch, and that's the thing, you find the bait and it's pretty easy to get. But the, the thing is too, around this area, you might be lucky enough to see a marlin. So, on boys, good stuff. Good work, Louis. Good work. <laughs> Oh, I dropped one on the way in the boat. Well done, mate. There you go, mate. That's how you get him. That's the way you do it, mate. A few liveys there. Enough, and he's even jumping off the hook for you. We're using the Garmin GPS Map 8000 series. Garmin has a massive range of products to choose from, 
for fishing, hunting and fitness. So to check out the full range of Garmin products, go to garmin.com.au. Well, that was pretty easy getting the bait. Now it's time to get serious. We've got two liveys out the back, so hopefully it won't take too long to get a bite. Well, we're getting a bit of a run here. We've got some liveys out. So we're circle hook. Bo, you're Pulling gonna just slowly tighten it up now. Yep. Let it load it up. And then just slowly pump it in, mate. It, oh. oh, is on or not? Okay, he's on, is he? Nah, it popped out. Popped out. Get our baits back out there and <laughs> see if we can get one in. Marlin have a very hard bill, and sometimes it's hard to get a hook up. Not yet, not yet, mate. Go, wide, 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 just keep, no, no, not too crazy, but just keep the pressure on. That's the main thing. Uh, just a little black. Keep the pressure go. on. Woo! Oh. <laughs> so, oh, oh no, he's still on. He's doing a bit. Still on. Just keep the pressure on. That's all we want. Good work, mate. First balling for mate. First balling ever, mate. Off uh, Nelson's Bay and been out here a couple of hours now, but um, a bit quiet this morning. Like, it was, mate. But uh, He's that's put on a bit of action that show here, but <laughs> that's it. Living us up a bit. How good's this? Wow. Keep the pressure on. That's the most important thing now is to keep the pressure on. So this one was um, down a little bit, wasn't it? We had a snap on sinker the on the leader. Yep. So what, 10, 12, 15 meters? Oh, probably, probably about 30 meters down. So yeah. we had a fair bit out. Got a bit of tail walking. Here he is, right on the boat! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Blue, Luke! That's it. He's right. Oh, nearly landed in the boat. He <laughs> nearly landed in the boat, Bo. I want him close, but yeah. not in the boat. Good black. Good work. Well, he nearly, he nearly done our job and got him in the boat for us. Oh, mate, that was, hey? that was, that was crazy. And there's, there's one serious side to marlin fishing is you've got to be so careful because, yeah, if it does jump in the boat, if that big bill's there, it go right through you. All oh. right, relax now. We've got a gimbal on. Get that rod out of the way. There you go. We should be all good now. Thank you. All right, go forward, Lou. On the tide change. Uh, on the tide change, that's right. Oh, that was pretty exciting. It was wild and it probably looks a bit messy in mayhem, but it is mayhem because, <laughs> you know, you're trying to get the boat set up, get the get the angler right and get the gimbal on him, get him relaxed. And it's a bit get, choppy out here today as well, Dave. It is so very choppy out that here. That adds to the uh, excitement. Well, it's blowing, it's blowing about uh, 25 knots at the moment, so uh, it, it's not probably the best conditions for marlin fishing. Hey, Lou, just bring it a little bit forward, mate. So we want to kind of keep the fish in this area here. So, um, so Lou drives the boat, Louis driving the boat. He watches the line and keeps that line to the side, a little bit to the back. So uh, we all got to work as a team here. And then it does get really dangerous when we start to get the fish close to the boat. because It's, it's a good fight. So what happens there, the fish wears out. So it's, by the time uh, Bo gets in close to the boat, he's going to be really tired. So that, that's a lot safer for us. So. Let's hope. How are you going there, mate? Very good, mate. Pretty excited, mate. Oh, first, awesome. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I don't want to get too cocky, but uh, it's the first fish, yep. first smile, I mean. And we've got to get him, we've got to get that tag at him. Get the tag at him or touch him, and uh, and we're right. And we're using a circle hook here, which is a, a 9 bring around to the right, 9 circle. And uh, and it's, it's only a small gauge we're using, and it's a really good quality hook. Um, and we've got a 150 pound leader on there. Uh, we've got a wine on attached to braids. Do you go to take care with the To, to the right, Lou. A little bit more, yep, keep bringing it around. Still got plenty of energy left in him. Yeah, it sure has, mate. How heavy do you reckon one like this would be, Dave? Uh, mate, he could be 50 kilos. Yep. Yeah, what do you reckon, Lou, 50? 
And we've got the Seagate Hyper on here. It's not an over expensive reel, really affordable. You don't have to spend yeah, all the back. He's going to have a jump. He's going to have a jump. There he is. Woo -hoo -hoo. Just keep that pressure on. That's yeah. when the hooks fall out. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to spit that hook out, that jump out. And, he throws his, and they throw their stomach out as well. And they'll throw their stomach out and throw anything that's in there um, to try to get rid of that hook. It's not right. It's not meant to be there. So that's what that jump is. And that's where the most important time is to keep that pressure on. Any slack line, you can lose it. This fish has got some go, mate. It does, mate. I think he had his wheat bix this morning. Look at that ass. Those two ugly mugs and try to get away from us. Mate, if this thing's going to fight this hard, we don't want to catch a bigger one. That'd be silly. There we go. Might get a jump again. Get that pressure on. There he is. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Turn around, Lou, 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 turn, 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 turn. That's it. Just watch that tip. That's it. Here he goes. Woohoo! Mate, you've got one fighting. <laughs> one fighter, mate. Watch out, might come to the boat. Right on, right on, right on. Yeah, Lou. Tell you what. <laughs> Hard work, mate. Hard work. <laughs> Was it meant to be easy? They better not be doing it, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Here you go, leader, leader, leader. Can't see him. Ah, oh, he's gone. We got him through. Oh no, mate, that was good enough because we had the leader. We had the oh, leader. Mate. Oh, that was absolutely insane. Mate, we got the fish. Got even touch it. Held the, the, the held the, the bill. Just took off like a wild man. So he still had lots of energy oh, in him. He's a big fish. Mate, we classed that. We touched the fish. That's classed as a capture, mate. So not a capture, but uh, we did get the tag in. But still, nice blue. Oh, that wow. was unbelievable. And uh, where's that hook, mate? There, you, there go. you go. And that's what happened. So, and I didn't hold the leader, then he just took off. So, look at that. Yeah. That's uh, some serious power. That's a 9 0 hook, and the owner's probably one of the strongest hooks around, and, and that's what he's done to it. The good thing about this is he hasn't been hurt, he's had a good fight, we all had some fun, he's released quite simply. We didn't have to put a gaff in him. Uh, great gear, and, and that we talked about uh, the reel we we're using, you know, just over $300, I think this reel sells for. Uh, really affordable. It goes a big wave, up and down we go. And uh, you know, that's a shame that's happened. You know, we had him up there and a little bit extra pressure on that hook and it said, I've had enough, I've been fighting for the last 15, 20 minutes. He did, mate. And, uh... And, uh, and that's what happened to the hook. That's, I've never seen a, a hook do that, like that bad, saying so, it snapped the end off. Yeah. So uh, anyway, he's, he's that's the way it goes. That is, mate, yeah. Um... Well, then we're gonna release him anyway, but uh, that was a, a great marlin and uh, what do you do? No, I'm very excited. Uh, obviously, we be <laughs> first fish and to get it to the boat like that, and oh wow. Mate, we got the touch, it. like I got to grab the bill, but yeah. he just took off, he had so much energy. You probably, probably, and the, the thing is, he got out there in that time, I reckon with a hook like that, we might not even got to see him. No. You know, like at the end, that was a good fight, so. Well done, mate, congratulations. Thanks, mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers. <laughs> but mate, we've still got plenty of time, it's only 12 o'clock. Let's get it back out there. Eh? So get some more, little, uh, more, more baits out there, and. Uh, Hey, free. We'll uh, hook up to another one. Very good. Good work. After that, Marlin, it's baits back in the water. That was an amazing fight, and I was so happy to see Bo hook his first Marlin. You can't wipe the smile off his face. So hopefully, I'll get the chance to fight one of these beautiful He's fish. <laughs> well, that was absolutely impressive. We just seen the Marlin just sunbaking. And all of a sudden, we see Sunny sunbaking. We'll just let him run, settle a little bit. Sunbaking. I said, look at that, there's a marlin there. And he just tried <laughs> to right, right past it. He's going. Get him in, mate. Woohoo! That is unbelievable. Well done, and mate. I said, get ready, boys, get ready. Oh, 
Leave the jumper, Lou. Leave the jumper. The wild weather brings out the jumpers, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, you can probably see all the white caps. They've probably got some of the worst conditions. It's He's a not like a bad fish. Catch. <laughs> we're just using those little slimies, and we've got a bit of braid through his head. We use the um, the needle. What size was that one, Dave? Oh, that's a 90 circle. About a 90 circle, and we've just got them out the back and up the lever a little bit. We've got a um, snapper sinker, and we're just getting them. What do you reckon, five metres, ten metres deep yeah, in the water? A yeah. bit more maybe? Maybe a bit more, about 30 metres down. And he's come around the back of that, obviously, like Dave Lulu said. Lulu to the left, little left. He spotted him sunbaking with his little fin in the air. And we've sort of come past him, and he smashed it, so... Unreal. You don't get any... better than that, do you? Nah. It's nice and steady, Lou. I'll get this sinker off. To the left a bit, Lou. To the left a bit, mate. Right. Left, mate. Yep. Okay. Okay, mate. Okay. Watch out. Watch out. It's right near the boat. Yes, mate. Oh, he's not a little Woo! fish either. Oh, yeah. Right, left, 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 hard left, hard left. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, right a bit, mate. Woo! How good is that? Good fish. Wow. Oh, what do you And I like fighting them on spin reels, I love it. I'd I prefer it than the big overheads. It's more of a challenge. It's harder work, you don't have a harness, so it is a lot more pressure on your back. It's a proper fight, it's you and the fish. It really is a more intense fight. Here we go, get some leader. Getting close. Keep going, follow it around mate. He's coming behind the boat now, directly behind the boat. That's right, keep him there. Wave up. These waves are insane. Hey. Well, he's close to the boat, but just enough to stay off us, so just trying to wear him out. Get ready, mate. You're on. You grab his bill, just grab grab his bill, grab his bill. Grab it, grab it, got it. Okay. Hold it tight. <laughs> He'll settle. Just turn him around. I'll oh, quit. That's it. That's it. Can we just run the boat in here a bit? Yep. Well, there's our marlin. And uh, let him settle down a bit. All right. I'm going to... to get this hook out of him. Ready? One, two, three! How good is that? Hold it real, mate. Well, there, you, there you go. How good is that? That's what it's all about. It's a bit of teamwork there in the hard conditions. That's right. Hours, hours of driving around, bouncing around the ocean uh, and getting great results in this. Now, this is probably, what, a 40 to 50 kilo fish? Uh, yeah, 50 kilos. Uh, Bo's one was a lot bigger than this and they do get giant, these fish. And, oh, God. But, mate, that was <laughs> awesome and good work on that's your first... Uh, um, tracing as well. Is, mate, yeah. How good's that? Yeah. I can't get over it. That's a beautiful fish. Great fun. Uh, all right, you got him. Well, that was pretty amazing, mate. That's and, great, uh, mate. A couple of marlin in a short period of time. Yep. And uh, I reckon we'll let this guy up. He's biting down on yeah, you. Yeah, he bite my finger. Oh, right, nearly let, ready there you go, mate. One, two, three, go. There he goes. Look at that. Woo! Okay, we've just come back inside here. Um, it's pretty windy out there, so we'll come back inside and I'm just going to run you through a pretty simple rig that we've been using today out there catching the marlin. Um, so, simple, 9-0 circle hook. I've got a bit of braid looped on the end of that. Obviously a bait, we've got a slimy and a bait needle. Um, for demonstration purposes, we're just using a, obviously a dead slimy. All right, it's pretty simple. First, we're going to take the bait needle and we're going to put it through just on top of the eyes. You don't want to go into the eyeball. It's sort of a little uh, channel there. We'll take that through, and then we're going to attach our loop braid onto the end of the needle, and we're going to pull that through, and that's the job done for the needle. Now with, the, with your hook, we're actually going to bring it back through that loop of braid, like so, and then we're going to turn it until tight, and your hook, we're going to bring it back through that loop that you've created with the uh, braid. 
So it's pretty simple, more or less put that straight out the back, you can either put it on the surface or you can put a sinker to it to get the bait down a little bit further. So uh, nice and simple, anyone can do it. Well here we are boys, what a wild day, we, we made it back in one piece. We made it back in one piece, it was uh, a bit hairy out there today in, in the boat but um, managed to get me first marlin thanks to you two boys. Mate, congratulations. Thanks, Dave. thanks Lou. Um, teamwork. Great fight. It was mate, it went for about 20 or 30 minutes and for a first marlin and yeah, over the moon, can't get the smile off my face. And especially on uh, Spinky, you know, we, we use the dye we give, great, and, and you had the Seagate Hyper, not an overly expensive reel, and it's done a great job and it's so much fun using Spinky. Yeah, it is fun using Spinky, and especially on the on the black marlins that we've done today. And uh, You had a cranky one. I did have a cranky <laughs> one, he didn't want to come near the boat, but um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, over the moon. And it all comes down to teamwork, you know, Bo's on the rod, uh, he's got to keep that uh, tight line because, you know, we're going over the big swells, and some big swells hit us well, today, Luke. Today, yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and you've got to wind as quick as you can because you slack that line off and the fish comes off, so you've done a great job there. Louis driving the boat, and I was helping direct and, um, you know, giving uh, Bo a hand as well, put the gimbal on, that's what all works, getting lines out of the water, so it, it's a real team effort, mate. But we have fun, mate. If you go down to Des Moines, mate, you can help everyone out with the marlin gear. Yeah, come and check us out. We specialise in all the game fishing gear, rods and reels, and any advice you need or help, just come and see us and look after you. Mate, it's great having you on board. And thanks for your help today. Thanks we'll get you on a few more shows as well. Thanks again, Dave. Thanks, Lou. You did that. Yeah. Mate, where we're off next week, I don't know, but uh, mate, I reckon we we'll call it a day. I think we should call it a day. So we'll see you next time on Fish and Hunt, somewhere around Australia. the weekend, I'm gone again. Fishing my cares away So if I hook the big one Or I hook a small one I'm hooked on fishing again I'm hooked on fishing again